Welcome back to another unturned video. Today we're going to go on a roster and server completely solo with a fresh start and going to do a ton of PvP, base building, base raiding, and even base defense against the door camper who pretty much gets destroyed. You guys seem like you enjoyed these roster and videos, so if reach 400 likes, I will upload more. Also, if you aren't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it since it helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, make sure to join my Discord. The link is discord.gg slash game and contact me there. This video we're going to roll another one and it's a blossoming orange scaler. To enter, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment something below. I also want to give a shout out to all the channel members and channel gifters. If anyone here wants to become a member, it's the join button below or the first link in the description. Today's video is sponsored by EU Modded. EU Modded is the same roster and server we're going to play on today and it's one of the best experiences to have. They have everything custom, such as weapons, the map and crafting items. There's also a lot of cool features when it comes to base building and upgrading. Today I have a special gift for you all. The first 10 people that use my special code, you will get 60% off the sale on their website and one small free reward on the server. Make sure to use the code Liam for all of this. If you guys are interested to play on the server, discord link, IP and port will all be in the description below and let's get straight into the action. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I am back on the server, my base obviously got raided but pretty much what I logged off with I still have it and I have pretty much a full inventory of some really good items actually, most importantly in my vault I have like 100 frags. Now my base was here but I, I think it decayed or something like that. Now today we're going to be completely solo, uh, so in my inventory I have a rocket launcher and a rocket, L96, a jackhammer, a bunch of meds and like 20 high quality metal, which is, you know what, not that bad for this kind of server because on the server everybody's like zerging everybody is completely stacked so first thing what we're gonna do is i'm gonna craft myself a building plan and a hammer we need these in order to actually start building the base now something cool on the server is every time you hit the tree it goes straight into your inventory and it stacks itself so that's that's pretty nice now once we get enough wood i will build probably a two by one base with an airlock triangular at the entrance i think that's a pretty good starter base design all right so i'm gonna build the base right over here it's close to military tunnels which i have no idea if it's a good location or a bad location we'll just go and check it out later now something as i mentioned earlier this is actually much much easier when it comes to base building pretty much the base is almost done now we just gotta upgrade it and to do that we're gonna need the hammer now for now i'm probably just gonna build it only with wood now sometimes this may take a while but we might need to get even more wood i'm not sure we gotta upgrade everything even the pillars because they can literally be broken by anything even with fists so since i also have a ton of metal in, in my vault i will probably make i don't know maybe the doorway i still gotta make the door and some crates so we need the metal for that all right so i'm making a couple of these walls metal this is probably where the loot room will be and i will also make a doorway just as an airlock so if i'm getting door camped they wouldn't just kill me once with the door open and they would have access to all of my loot all right well i see a guy right over there i think He's chopping down trees and I need a scope. Hold on, I should have a 16 times in my vault. Yes, sir. We'll put the silencer on as well. Wait, I don't see him actually. Oh, he's right over there. Wait, did he spot me? Wait, he's shooting at me. Alright, he's dead. Right, I actually think he did spot me. Well, he's chopping down trees around. And it looks like there is a base right over there. Could be his. I'm gonna go check out what loot this man over here has. A bunch of logs already. Oh yeah, a lot of logs. SMG. Uh, my guy has night vision. Ayo, perfect. I actually need that. I wanna go in the military tunnels. Alright, let's go. Let's go depot. I was actually farming wood and pretty much we got all of the wood that we need for now. Alright, well I hear a heli very, very close. I'm going to vote the L96 and the night vision. I really hope there isn't like a zerg base next to mine because some of base on the server are way too big i don't even have a bed yet so i can't home even though my base is right over here but i think that big base behind me is actually live with like a five-man team inside all of them two four nines there's also an unrated base over here. We might try to raid that later on. Alright, so I made myself two boxes. No code lock for now. Maybe we'll do that later on. I don't really care. And I can pretty much also make a bed, I think. Yes, sir. Alright, and we got ourselves a sleeping bag. Now, something cool about Rust Turned, I think this is on all servers, is that you can have multiple sleeping bags. Alright, so base is done. Everything is set. There's a helicopter right over there. Now, I'm gonna go loot around military tunnels for a bit. I'm gonna see where if it's actually worth it or not. I did put the night vision in my vault, so when we enter there then i can actually see inside hopefully there's going to be a ton of elite crates there's a guy there all right he's dead let's vote the l96 back because i don't want to die with it the l96 is probably the best trading weapon that i have till now let's check out what loot he has hopefully something insane oh he just had a thompson never mind i'll take it anyway though i do need an smg i'm gonna pick up literally every single component as well because they could be smelted into high quality and normal metal 
and scrap as well. Now, I was told that scrap on the server, we can buy helicopters. Now, I have absolutely no idea from where, but if we do manage to figure it out, then let's go. All right, so I'm doing a quick loot run at Lighthouse. Till now, I didn't find a single leak crate, so probably we'll never ever come back here. But usually, there's going to be one at the very top. Yes, sir, there's one right over here. Hopefully, some insane loot. And looks like an explosive, 664 ammo, SAR, salvaged axe. I'll take all of the high quality metal. Are right, we gonna do another military tunnels loot run? There's some loot on the floor already. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a guy here. All right, my guy didn't hear me coming. Oh, there's another guy. He's dead. Wait, they came down here with no night vision. I right, respect the effort. All right, well, looks like this guy is geared. He has a military backpack, AK, 10 times gears, salvage pickaxe, salvage. These guys, these guys are stacked. I'm gonna pick up literally almost every single item I can find. All of these components, they can actually be smelted into some really, really good high quality metal. I'll take the tech treasure as well. I'll take all of the guns. All right, let's home. They had night vision. He had another pair of night vision. He didn't have it on though. I really don't know why. All right, and we are back in base. Uh, quickly depot and we will run back. We are very, very close to it. I'm happy we got an AK. We got a ton of components, especially the salvaged weapons. 10 times tech treasure as well. That's really, really good. All right, so I'll smelt everything later though. I'm um, deep inside military tunnels right? and I hear a lot of shots above me. All right, well, I actually don't know how to leave. I'm searching around for elite craze, but I only found one, which is not too good. All right, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna go try to find that one guy. I did also pretty much pick up all of the components that I left from that duo that I killed. All right, hopefully that guy is still somewhere around here. Yeah, he is. I don't know if it's the same guy. He only had a water pipe by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, he only has shotguns. Uh, I don't think this is the same man then. All right, so now it is time to start farming some sulfur. I do have my jackhammer out with me. Hopefully I don't die with this because I would cry. So I'm going to put it straight in vault. Now we need sulfur. I'm going to make gunpowder. And from gunpowder, I'm going to make hopefully rockets and C4. But we still need to farm quite a ton. Oh, there's a leak right here. Oh, wait, there's a person. Hello. He's dead. All right, custom SMG. He has a ton of tech trash, beacon grenade, a ton of components, muzzle, and a python as well. I'm noticing a lot of people are coming down here without actually having night vision on. Maybe I just assumed that I need night vision for everywhere, but apparently not. All right, so this elite crate had a salvaged axe, a bunch of shotguns. I'll take all of those pipes. I need those for rockets. All right, and we will go back to base. I, I did pretty much loot all of military tunnels. Alright, so I'm on a metal and sulfur run. Honestly, any knob that I see except for a stone, I will harvest it. I'm also looking around for any, like, live bases or any small bases that we can raid there later on. Alright, well, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, or it's a duo. I thought it was a solo. Alright, both have been eliminated. Let's go check out if they have any good loot. I don't know if this is their base or if they were door camping this base, but they did just kill somebody. Honestly, I'm just gonna take their loot and home. Like, I don't wanna door camp people. Alright, so I did the slash home, so in 10 seconds I will teleport out of here. I gotta pick up the most important items. Alright, there's people inside. Yeah, I heard steps. Alright, well, this is what I left. I mean, I didn't really leave anything that good. I guess I did leave that double door. But I got myself an easy LR, Bolti, MP5, uh, and some LR ammo. If I probably didn't do that home that quickly, I might have died. Plus, my inventory was also full of sulfur and metal that I have been farming. All right, we got ourselves, how much? 40 more sulfur and some charcoal, which we will need in order to make gunpowder. All right, I can probably already craft myself one rocket, actually. All right, I need to make myself more wood, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do a insane base raid. Probably going to do it with the L96. I should have more than enough ammo. Now, back here, I can't trade. Because if I do, I wouldn't be able to jump in. And the area is definitely claimed. So we're gonna have to raid from over here. Now, L96, I have a suppressor on, which hopefully doesn't break. But yeah, it does. All right. So one bullet gave 50 damage. And that has a total of 750 HP. Right, well, I definitely have enough. All right, let's reload this bad boy. Kind of scared that I'm gonna get countered. There's literally over 50 people on the server right now. But if I do, my base is very, very close and I can easily counter. All right, should literally be the last couple of bullets. Oh yeah, it broke. And I obviously got a raid through this doorway or door. All right, so the door has 500 HP and the doorway has 750 HP. So it would make more sense if we raid the door. All right, so suppressor broke. And we are through. Looks like a bunch of crates. Hopefully this is not for nothing. Yeah, there's okay. Got a jackhammer, a bunch of alarm ammo, nothing. Uh, some sulfur, heavy helmet. Another alarm magazine. There's a big boy crate. There's ourselves a military backpack. There are two alarms. I'll take those. Uh, some metal chest pieces. Well, we did get some good items, I guess. Actually, we got ourselves the jackhammer. A bunch of LRs. Military backpack. Honestly, I'm happy with the jackhammer. Got ourselves a heavy helmet as well. And we are done from this raid, right? We did search all of the boxes. An insane first base raid. 
Oh, there's a guy outside my base. Nice, splendid. Alright, so I did manage to also do an airlock over here. Literally perfect timing. So if I go out and he kills me and the door's open, he wouldn't get access to all of my loot now. Alright, well, my guy tried to tap me. I don't know. He's... Alright, easy loot. Hey, oh, my guy has two AKs, two LRs. Let's med up. Heavy helmet. Hey, oh, my guy's stack. Thanks. Oh, yeah, he was actually door camping me. Alright, odds are if he has a base close or a bed close, he will come back and door camp me. Alright, that's some easy guns, though. Not gonna lie. Full military armor. Are we gonna put the night vision in here as well? I don't wanna lose it accidentally. Even though I have another pair. Well, I hear shotgun shots very, very close. I think that's a military tunnel. Now I'm gonna make myself a bag. I'm gonna put it very close to my base. Maybe in another base that is actually raided. That way, if I lose my bed here, somehow they manage to raid me. I will always have a backup bed and can come back quickly. Right, so now I gotta search for a base that's already raided or something like that. Oh, and... And he is back instantly. Alright, splendid. Looks like we got ourselves a guy that has a bed close. And he probably has a billion guns in his vault. Yeah, he's right over there, I see him. Oh, look, free loot, yeah. Okay, well, he's saying free loot. It's okay, bro. No worries. It's like a couple magazines. Alright, well, I have a plan. I just want him to get inside, even if I die. Perfect. Now he can do anything. Ha, <laughs> he's stuck. Now watch this, guys. He's probably gonna assume that I'm gonna open the first main door where my bed is. Actually, I'm gonna need to build myself a, a hammer for this. It's gonna be quite risky, to be honest. I, I need an LR for this. Alright, hopefully he actually doesn't home or something like that. Hello. See you, so why can't you kill me, man? I'm, I'm right here. Come okay, bro. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill, come on. Come on, kill me, bro. I'm standing in front of I'm about to shut him up, honestly. He has, he's not gonna expect this. Hello. Yeah, well, honestly destroyed. Hey, oh, you use even more guns. Let's go. All right, so we gotta go put a roof back because, I mean, he can't get up here anyway unless he has a ladder, which he probably doesn't. I'm trying to see if he actually does come back already. Maybe he had just had a lucky spawn. All right, we got ourselves a roof. Now we gotta upgrade it to literally anything. All right, so I'm gonna smelt this high-quality metal. I just need a stack of 10 log. Oh, perfect. We got more than enough over here. All right, I gotta salvage this. And bam, high quality roof, back. All right, he's not back yet, so I don't know if maybe he had a lucky spawn, or he just gave up already. Come on, bro, come kill me. Oh, no, never mind, he's back. Come, come, come kill me, man. Kill, kill me. Come, come. Come on. Kill me, bro. Kill me. This guy really wants to die, I assume. I already don't know what's going on with him. Man, kill. Bro, he thinks that by kill, saying kill, kill, this, kill, he's gonna make on. me... He thinks he's making me panic or something, when well, honestly, yeah, it's just... He's a loot for me. I'll put the backpack back in here. We will put the heavy plate in here as well. I'll just go out with a t-shirt and the helmet, which aren't really anything that special. This guy honestly won't shut up. Alright, well, I had to salvage this TC. I need to build another one because it's pretty damaged. Alright, so we need 25 locks for this. Yeah, we have more than enough. I will raid you. This guy's saying I will raid you. If he wants to raid me, he would have already raided me by now come on man push me or not i'll just close the door huh come kill him man all right wait this guy is solo by the way he's not in a group yet he and he's throwing what did he throw a grenade my guy threw a grenade he did six percent damage my guy is really trying to scare me eh? right, is he shooting yeah he's shooting l96 all right well that means he doesn't have any other gun out. All right, easy. Destroyed. Hey, I probably got an easy L96. Yes, sir. Five magazines. Oh, <laughs> thanks, bro. Another guy there. He's dead. It's a different guy, though. All right, and another full military outfit. This time it's L96. Perfect. Even more raiding gloats. I will vault those, obviously. I don't want to lose them. Wait, he's outside. New alarm. I had no I, I have no idea what I just said, but whatever he said, uh, all of that loot is mine. My guy brought a sleeping bag. I am gonna do the exact same thing then. I have an idea. First, I'm gonna wait a bit here to see if he actually does come back. I'm gonna try to see if he has a base somewhere close. Because if he does, I can put three rockets in his base. Right, I'll keep some guns here for now. I'm gonna try to find the raid. There's a loot pile. Oh yeah, this is the same guy that I killed some time ago. He had a custom SMG, salvaged axe. Right, I'm gonna go take that AK that I dropped over here. Because if he does come back, I can just home back here for example and i will be right behind him and he wouldn't expect it all right here custom smg shots very very far i think it's a tunnel though all right yeah, this could actually work perfectly uh areas claim nice tc's right here i'm gonna destroy this tc really quickly with the axe i'm not gonna shoot because he will probably hear me all right tc is broken hopefully there aren't any more claim areas yeah it's not all right perfect got ourselves a bed i'm gonna drop the guns here that way if i die i always have other guns over here hopefully he doesn't come in and take them but he will not expect me to be yet. Yeah, he's right over there. My guy's literally right over there. He's speaking to me. He thinks I'm inside the base. My guy has literally no idea. 
and he is dead. All right, another easy gun. My guy is coming with heavy clothes, military backpack XL. Yo, I kind of like this guy, actually. He's literally delivering the highest tier of items in my base. All right, so I'm gonna try to make myself, like, a couple of crates at the secondary base. Maybe even make myself a doorway and a door. All right, he's dead. Bro, he doesn't give up, actually. Get ourselves well, another military backpack, a lie. Bro, he's back. He is dead once again. I'm trying to make him, like, give up, bro. Honestly. He is giving me free loot, but I'm just... It's been long now. I've been literally in the same area around my base for the past hour. He just keeps coming back. Keeps trying to kill me. Fails, and I pretty much get all of his loot. He's not even coming with alars anymore. He's coming with AKs. Which means that he ran out of alars. Alright, let's depot this AK. My inventory is starting to get full as well. I literally have barely any more space. There's people outside my base. Hold on. Is he back already? Oh no, this was some other random individual. He's not him. Does he have anything? Nope. Wait, is that a is that a guy or am I losing my mind? That is a guy, yeah, yeah. My guy's in the military tunnels with me. None of us have night vision. Alright, we got ourselves a rocket launcher. It has a rocket in it. Perfect. I'm going to vault it. He also had the Satchel Charge, which is alright. It's not that bad. Um, But in terms of guns, nothing that good. I will take the grenades. I right, saw so that guy that was door camping me. I don't even see him in the server anymore. So I'm going to assume that he left the server. He might have rage quit. I'm not sure. But if he did, that's kind of funny. Currently, so I'm currently mining as much software as possible. We are literally on an island, which is full of nodes. And once we do this, we'll go back to base and tree see how much gunpowder we can actually craft and probably craft them all into rockets well alright everybody that's going to be it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed if you guys do want to see more videos like these let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye